Hi guys, I'm Matthew Moss of the Armourers Bench, uh, but I'm also a member of the Vickers Machine Gun Collection and Research Association. Um, I'll be doing a few videos on the channel here uh, alongside Rich to have a look at some of the items in the collection. Recently we were taking part in a working day, uh, getting ready for an important shoot that's coming up. Uh, Rich will be telling you more about that in the future. Um, but one of the things that we, we did do during the, the working day was load some belts. And I was able to get some great footage of the belt loading machine in action, so I thought I'd show you that first. This is a machine filling belts, Maxim 0.303 inch Mark II. It's actually a June 1917 dated example, but of course the loader's design predates the First World War. That's hinted at by the Maxim still being in the designation. As the Vickers replaced the Maxim in British service, and both guns used the same Mark I ammunition belt with the brass strips. From the markings, we know that this example was made by the Swift Company. Made for machined brass, the filling machine is a really interesting piece of Edwardian engineering. As you can see, the rounds are loaded into the hopper at the top and descend in a single column feed into the belt filling machine's action. It's hand cranked and the Mark 1 belt is fed through. One round is seated into a loop or pocket in the belt with each crank of the lever. When the machine is cranked, the pocket opener moves through the pocket in the belt and twists to open it up to allow the cartridge plunger to push a cartridge into the belt and project out first. The machine has a pole which is also actuated by the crank. The pole pushes the belt through, indexing with each pocket. From this angle we get a good look at the pole pushing the belt through the machine, as well as the cartridge plunger pushing in the rounds. As we've seen, the belt filling machine can be clamped to a table. In the field, it would have been clamped to any available secure surface or to the trail of the limbered wagons used by the machine gun corps. But here it's on its side and we can more easily see how the machine's mechanism works. When the lever is cranked, we can see how it moves the pocket opener and cartridge plunger in turn. Here, a couple of members of the association, Daz and Matt, are running the machine to load up some PPU blank for a training demonstration. Richard has already done a more in-depth video on the belt filling machine, which also includes a cool animation, so be sure to check that video out as well. And finally, here's a couple of professionals using one of the machines on a machine gun called Limbered Wagon from a 1918 film showing training at an MGC training school in France. This gives you an idea of just how quickly the belt filling machine could be used. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to share the video with friends and tell everyone about the Vickers Machine Gun Collection and Research Association. Thanks for watching. So incidentally, as I mentioned earlier in the video, members of the association are going to be doing a lot of belt filling over the next few weeks because on the 3rd of July, we have a very special event where 16 Vickers guns will be live firing at Bisley as a demonstration to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the disbandment of the Machine Gun Corps in 1922. But not only that, on the 16th of July, we'll be at the National Army Museum in London for a Spotlight Saturday event showcasing the development of British Army machine gunnery from the formation of the Machine Gun Corps onwards. We really hope you can join us at these events, they are free to the public. You can find out more about the events on our website and through the handy QR code on the screen at the moment. Thanks.